Hey friends, this is the E! News for the week of March 20th. It is uh, one week until Holy Week, the passion that we celebrate of Jesus. And so I want to encourage you, uh, or let you know, I should say, that tonight is the last Lenten dinner and study. There is one more Wednesday in Lent, but that's a part of Holy Week. And because we will have a Thursday program and a Friday worship we decided not uh, to do the Wednesday dinner and study. So this coming Sunday, March 24th, is Palm Sunday. And I hope that you'll join us. It's always an important time to set the stage for what will happen during Holy Week. And then on Thursday, March 28th, we will have um, a Passover Seder meal in Fellowship Hall. If you haven't heard, um, please know that it is really a special evening. Dr. Garrett Smith will be with us to lead us through a Passover Seder meal. He grew up Jewish. He's now a Christian pastor, and he does a great job of explaining uh, how Christ is a fulfillment of the Passover meal. So I, I hope you will register online and be a part of that and come and uh, be in person. On Friday, Good Friday then, uh, March 29th, we will have a worship service. We will not do the Tenebrae this year. The Tenebrae is one of my favorite uh, services of, of all time. But um, because we're doing the story, uh, there's a chapter in there about the, the dark hour, the hour of darkness. And so we're going to preach on the hour of darkness. Uh, it gives us an opportunity that we don't often get to preach on Good Friday, so it'll be good. Um, but that's one of the reasons uh, we're not having the tenebrae. We'll still have elements of the tenebrae, some of the same hymns and readings, but it will be more of a um, full liturgical service as well. And then, of course, on Easter morning, March 31st, 7 a.m. Uh, outside, 8.30 and 11.10 inside with Sunday school uh, as it normally happens. It has been a wonderful season of Lent, I hope, that you have been able to grow uh, in your walk with God and to appreciate the grace of God that we know in Jesus more and more. Um, I continue to grow in my own faith and appreciate more and more that the basic fundamentals of life are really the building blocks for everything else. So often we get hung up on the big events, the big occasions, when it really is um, not about that. It's not moving from one big thing to the next. It's those everyday realities that matter. And for me, um, it's taken a while since COVID, but I feel like I'm beginning to get back in the groove of visiting with people and seeing people in person and face to face. And that matters. I'm even practicing writing more notes rather than sending them via email or text just as a discipline for me that makes it more personal and uh, from me and to the person. Well, uh, there are different seasons in life and I wanted to read something from Ecclesiastes that I think is really significant for us no matter where we are or what season we are in. It's a passage that is often read um, and isn't always understood. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and Ecclesiastes is a wisdom book, a book of wisdom, wisdom literature. And so it's not necessarily a narrative, but it makes us think. And this is what God's Word says. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die. Let me just pause right there and say how profound that is. Um, we celebrate births and we also celebrate deaths. Both of them are realities. Both of them are under heaven and part of God's sovereign plan. Uh, so it is a season. And so I would remind us all that we are in different seasons at different times. But it continues. It says, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, 
a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. There is a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. So I don't know about you, but sometimes uh, my life is about figuring out which season I'm in, when it's time to speak or a time to be silent. I don't know you as a parent where you are in your life, but I find that to be a struggle all the time, even as my kids are becoming young adults and living into adulthood. I still wrestle, well, Dirk, is this a time to speak up or is it a time to keep quiet? So I pray that we would all be prayerful and discerning, not just always flying by our gut, but prayerfully discerning what season we're in and how we honor God. There aren't easy guidelines uh, to understanding when it's time to speak up or it's time to be quiet, when it's time to throw away or when it's time to gather. Um, But know that um, there are times for all of those things. And so it's about being wise. And in the Proverbs, it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fear the Lord and then you will begin to be wise. Have a right relationship with God that is humble, submissive, that is under His authority. That you are willing to do what God says is right to do. And then you will be given that gift of wisdom and discernment as to how to move forward. It all comes down to the relationship we have with God. So if you are in the place of making decisions or wondering what season you're in, Work first on your relationship with the Lord so that you can hear His still, small voice. Friends, know that we love you and we care about you. If there's anything we can do for you, just reach out and let us know. Take care. God bless. Have a great day.